Last week, I gave you a quick tip, my single best piece of photography advice. You can see that video at the link above. But I didn't talk about gear. I get questions every day about what type of camera to get. So this week, I will tackle that. And I'll try to do it in under three minutes, just like last week, in honor of Jackrabbit June. Okay, go. When choosing a camera, whether it is your first camera or your next camera, there are two ground rules that you need to know. One, there are far more similarities among the cameras on the market today than there are differences. No matter what you choose, I promise you will be able to take photos and I will even go out on a limb and say that you will be able to take great photos with whatever you choose. Two, there is no substitute for practice. I talked about this last week, but understand that your camera isn't taking the photo for you. Gaining experience and developing your style will make a far greater difference in your photography than which DSLR you choose. Okay, that was obviously simplified, but I think it's important to remember that the camera isn't the most important part. So you really don't need to stress about it. All you can do is balance your options and make an informed choice. There are a few things that we'll talk about now so that you can do that. Your goals, your budget, your expectations, and what you want the experience to be like. Let's talk goals. Why do you want this camera? Do you envision taking lots of incredible photos of your life and travels and family and stuff? Is your goal to become a professional photographer? Or do you just want your camera to take care of settings and such so that you can document your family gatherings and your kids' soccer games and such? I realize we all have our different goals as photographers, but I think you get the idea. The answer to this question will help you figure out all of the other ones. So discussing budget now, that's important and something that you may as well get out of the way before you get too in depth with your research and your shopping. So think about your goals because that might put things into perspective. If you really only want a camera to take casual photos, there's no need to spend all of the money for a high-end camera. Like I said in the beginning of this video, cameras today are pretty amazing all the way up and down the line. That being said, if you really want to be a professional photographer, you may invest a little more, even if it means waiting while you save money. Now, expectations. Are there key things that you expect that your camera will be able to do? Action, low light, zoom. Cameras these days, they're really smart, but they do each have their limitations. Make a list of the things that you really want to be able to do, and then you can see what fits into your budget that has those characteristics. On to experience. Do you want to have one small unit that you can slip into your pocket or your backpack? Maybe a point and shoot would be perfect for you. Or are you okay with something larger? Are you interested in the ability to change lenses? Many of the mirrorless options out there are compact, but you can change lenses. And then there are the DSLRs that range in size and price with lenses that also range in size and price. So think about how you will want to use the camera, but if you can, get a couple of different cameras into your hands. Lots of stores have display cameras out that you can pick up, press some of the buttons, hold it up as though you were taking a photo. Oftentimes, something will speak to you. So there you have it. Did I make it on time? No, but that's okay. Before I go, I realize that this has all sounded very simple. And when you're thinking about spending your hard earned money, it doesn't always seem that way. But there's one thing that you need to remember when choosing a camera. This isn't brain surgery. There's no right answer and there are no lives depending on your choice. If you are having trouble choosing between two cameras, you'll probably be happy with either of them. Remember your goals, remember the expectations you have, and how you want to interact with your camera, and you'll be able to find something that will fit your needs. I'll be back next week with another Jackrabbit June quick tip. Thanks for watching.